welcome back guys in this video i am going to show you the installation of GeoServer rest uh, in your local machine so i am using windows so i'll install the GeoServer rest in windows this machine okay let's get start first of all you can search in google about GeoServer rest python and then the uh, you can go to the pipy.org uh, first result which is showing here and this one is the GeoServer REST framework it's uh, yeah, in the 1.2.3 version maybe uh, when you watched maybe this version will be upgraded but the concept will be same so here you can find the documentation about this library so it uh, is well documented the installation process in windows in ubuntu and then also uh, it how to use here is how to use tutorial and initialize the library create workspace create coverage store coverage store mean i already explained it's the raster uploading raster data and then create feature store means uh, creating the vector data and we have different uh, kind of creating style files techniques so yeah these are the main things so let's get start by installing this library so for this i'll open up my command front and I'll go to the desktop directory so here I have nothing so I'll create the one directory called GeoServer REST and then I'll move to the GeoServer REST directory and this one is the MPT directory we just created so yeah let's see about the installation processes so here is the installation process so for installation of this library we need the python 3 version so we already have the python 3.6 is the requirement uh, of this library so let's check whether we have python or not yeah i have python 3.7 so it should be okay so yeah uh actually i want to install uh, this library in the virtual environment so i'll create first i'll create the virtual environment but if you don't want to install it in a virtual environment if you want to install it, it on a uh, on the your machine uh, publicly it's just fine so let me create the virtual environment uh, Python dash m env dot slash p e n v okay now our virtual environment is already created you can see it inside this here pnb and we have these uh, python files so let me let me uh, activate this virtual environment for activating you can go to the pnb uh, this is our folder name and script and then activate dot bat you have to run this code so it will activate our virtual environment and v and v will be appear at the left side of your command front so if you go to the script tag actually we are running this this script activate dot bat from command front so we uh, since it's the additional step which was not mentioned in uh, here installation document but it's completely fine without virtual environment as well so let me install the pip wind first okay Okay, 
paste the bpwin Okay, now uh, pip win install gtar. Uh, it's the easiest way to install gtar library. So, or, or you can install it through the unofficial uh, website, which is by downloading the uh, wheel file and install manually. But this one is the easiest way to install gtar in your Windows machine. So. If you install Zidal through uh, using OSGeo Fuji or using Conda environment, it's just just fine. Okay, here we have successfully installed Zidal. You can check whether it's installed or not through typing Python and just type import Zidal. So it run with uh, without error. That means it's installed successfully. So let me clear the console and install pipwin install pycar, which is our second dependency. Okay, uh, here. It is also successfully installed, so uh, now I can install the uh, GeoServer REST. So just copy and paste it here and just install it. Okay, now here it shows successfully installed GeoServer REST. So now we can test whether it's installed or not by just importing geo.geoserver geo server from geo.geoserver. So let's test it from geo.geoserver import geoserver. Okay, it runs successfully without error, so that means the library is installed successfully. So that's all about installation, and I'll see you in the next.